Europe builds infrastructures to allow researchers to study the challenges and opportunities in our seas. Flanders and Vlis are actively supporting three of these S3 projects – ICOS, LifeWatch and EMBRC. The Integrated Carbon Observation System ICOS, focuses on high-quality observations of CO2 and other greenhouse gases. The aim is to provide accurate information for a better understanding of global climate change and its impact on ecosystems. Bliss manages two ICOS ocean stations, the coastal research vessel Simon Stephen and a monitoring buoy at the Thornton Offshore Wind Farm. These platforms provide the information needed to fully constrain carbon dynamics in the Belgian coastal waters. On both stations, the scope is to measure CO2 concentrations in seawater and in the atmosphere, and to quantify the fluxes in between. Vlis has also the capacity to measure methane concentrations in seawater using dedicated equipment on board the vessel. All activities are supported by collecting seawater samples that are analysed in the ICOS chemistry lab at the Vlis MSO site. In the LifeWatch S3, so-called virtual labs are developed, consisting of databases, web services and modelling, and other tools that support biodiversity and ecosystem research. On top of that, the data fuels innovation, both in academia and industry, and forms a solid basis for policy information. In order to support the virtual research environments and to standardise the species data, Vlis has developed a reliable LifeWatch species information backbone, including, among others, the World Register of Marine Species, Worms, Eurobis and Marine Regions. Worms has become the global standard list of marine life, with over 240,000 known unique species and users worldwide, ranging from interested amateur scientists to large multinational companies. The Marine Regions database of geo-referenced place names and areas is also developed in-house by Vlis. This database has proven its added value in global research initiatives in more than 400 published scientific articles, but also the New York Times or companies such as Marine Traffic and TomTom Tom have attested to the relevance of marine regions. Within the LifeWatch S3, ingenious and innovative observations and analysis systems ensure a continuous and accurate monitoring of biodiversity. Plankton, a crucial component of any marine ecosystem, is being monitored using state-of-the-art instruments both at sea and in the lab. In cooperation with IMBO, Vlis has developed an integrated tagging program for large birds, an acoustic fish receiver network, and a series of receiver stations for migrating bats, following these animals far beyond our borders. Also, underwater sound at sea is being monitored, making use of smart moorings that allow the maintenance of the equipment and sensors attached to them without the deployment of divers. LifeWatch provides data and products to various user groups, including the increasingly crucial blue economy, policy and the wider public. The other way around, citizens can be very helpful in collecting biodiversity data, as demonstrated by the LifeWatch Citizen Science Initiatives, SeaWatch B and the Big Seashell Survey. Cooperation is key to meet the strategic research needs in all S3 projects. Within EMBRC, researchers from both academia and industry get access to marine resources, as well as to cutting-edge services and facilities through a distributed network of 45 EMBRC sites in nine countries. At MSO, access to marine biodiversity extractable products and its associated metadata is provided. With all this support, we get the science we need for the ocean we want.